It's May 27th, so we're back at it again with another video, but this time it's just a little breakdown of what's in my camera bag. I get a lot of questions about, hey bro, what camera are you using? What lens are you using? So I just decided, you know what, I'll make a little video just to give y'all a little brief insight as to what I use on a day to day basis to help me with my shoots, how I get them crisp pictures and stuff like that. So I just show y'all what's in my backpack. So let's get started. The bag itself right here is the Bag Smart backpack. I got this for about $100, I believe, on Amazon. All uh, black designer um, gets the job done. It's really slick, clean looking, you know. Um, it's a little bulky, it's just slightly bulky, but I like it, it's not too heavy. I keep mostly just bare minimum stuff in here, but I can also put my clothes and stuff if I'm traveling on a little short trip. I keep a little shorts and boxes, a little song song in here, socks. You never know what you might need, but a lot of stuff can go in here. So let's dive into the back and let's see what we got. The most important tool in my backpack is this tool right here, this comb. I keep that on me at all times, you know, I gotta, we gotta keep that beer, you know, nice and clean, you know, I can't pull up to shoots looking raggedy, so I keep that on me at all times. But what everybody wants to know is what camera do I use? And I use the Sony a7 III. I've had it for about almost a year, I wanna say. Shoots 4K30, 4K24, I use that for all my weddings, music videos, grass shoots. It has in-body image stabilization, so you know you can shoot handheld and it's still gonna be smooth. It also has 1080, 120. That's what I use most of the time for everything, like all that slow motion y'all be seeing me do. That's all 1080, 120. I love using that. So we got a Sony 85 1.4 G Master. I love this lens so much. It gets me all my sharp pictures. Although you do have to back up a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it. I love prime lenses. So this is my go-to lens right here, the Sony 85. And the other lens I'm using right now to record this video is the Sony 16 to 35 G Master 2.8. I use that mainly for vlogging, for wide stuff, for group wide stuff, anything I need. That's my go-to lens. And then, let up, what else we got here? So, this little pouch right here contains all my ND filters. I use that just in case it's really bright outside and I still wanna keep my aperture down, as well as my shutter speed. What else we got? I got batteries in here. I got about four batteries. I keep it on me at all times, just in case you know, I'm running from 8 a.m. to about 6 p.m. shooting all day. Sometimes you might not have a spot to charge it, so extra batteries is always a must. I got battery charges for it as well, too. Let's see. My Rode microphone is what I use to record all my audio for video. Mainly keep that on me for a little short visuals, nothing too extensive, like a little vlog here and there, just to make sure I have crisp audio is what I use right here. I keep my hard drives on me at all times, lazy hard drives. These are shock proof. It helps me on location to back up the files I need in case I run out of memory. And then my SD card reader, I keep this little plastic case right here. It contains all my SD cards, all my micro ones, as well as my regular SD cards right here. Trust me, get you one, so you ain't gonna lose no SD cards, especially just micro ones. Those are easy to lose. And then, hmm, what else we got in here? I keep my Ronin plate with me as all the time, too, for my Ronin S. You never know when you might need to shoot some videos. I'm always keeping that with me. I also keep my iPad for on location because I need to take some notes sometimes before my shoots. So I go over my concepts, a little inspo, a little stuff here and there. I keep my iPad with me at all the time. Plus, I don't know. I like my iPad, that's why. My JBL Charge 4 speaker. Having a speaker on location is a must, in my opinion, for every photographer, because sometimes the model or the client might be a little awkward, you know, first time doing a shoot, so you wanna relax them, you know, wanna make them feel the vibes, you know, get a little jiggy with it. So play some music, Drake, Future, a little song song here, and there, you know, a little, a little turn up, gets the vibe going right. Mm. I keep gum as well, 
just in case <laughs> I eat before I shoot or something like that. Don't want to pull up with no stank breath. They're going to be like, right, this man, breath stank. I can't see. I can't have people saying that. So I got to make sure I have gum on me at all times. Make sure we sharp and fresh. Uh, let's see. Uh, this little prism right here. I'd occasionally bring it out, but I always like to keep it in my backpack just in case I want to try some unique different shots. I keep a quarter on me at all time in case I need to tighten stuff up, especially for my Ronin S. I use that to tighten the bottom of the plate, so I always got a quarter in my bag. And then that's, that's the gist of what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis for my shoots. I'm really trying to be a minimalistic. I ain't trying to have a lot of gear and stuff on me, so I keep it light. It really helps out a lot. Most of the time I have my Ronin S, it's right here. Um, that doesn't go in my backpack, but that's always either next to me or holding it somewhere or just at home. But it just allows me to get all my smooth footage from my video, all them tracking shots, the long distance shots. This is what I use right here. This, I love this. This is so lightweight. You can travel with this. You can, it could really fit in my bag if I wanted to, but I don't need it right now, so I don't. But it can if I wanted to. I also typically have my drone in here, but I don't have that right now, so it's a little messed up. So I gotta take it back and get a different one. So yeah, that's about it. This is really just a quick little short video just for y'all, you know, just to get a little insight on the gear I use, just so I can answer everybody's questions at once. Yeah, peace.